Hello, everybody. I did a video yesterday, which I think is very important that we discuss. And it was about Richard Tice. It was about Reform UK. And it was about the candidates, prospective parliamentary candidates that have been deselected. You can see the thumbnail here. Richard Tice erupts. And that's exactly what he did on Twitter. Because on more than one occasion now, he's been accused of being under the thumb of an organisation called Hope Not Hate. This is an accusation when levied against him, he's not very happy with, as it makes him, and by proxy, reform, look like they are under the thumb. Now, with the uh, critical time that we're approaching in our political lives and the future of this country, it's very important that we discuss, discuss such matters, bring them to the surface, and then we can decide what the right thing to do might be, whether it be vote reform, stick with what we know, or put the dread I do not consent down on a ballot paper. Look into that, by the way. Now, this video yesterday performed very well indeed, uh, and at time of recording, it was well over 30,000 views, and the comments were absolutely mind-boggling, so this is a very emotive subject. What I wanted to do in this video is run through some of your comments so we can hear what you actually think about what's going on. So here goes. Okay, the first one, 2002, is that... Uh, Irene, Lorraine, uh, I think so. It's a mishmash of the two, isn't it? Apologies if I get it wrong. Utter bollocks. <laughs> well, that's what he started his reply with. Hope Not Hate is run by Nick Lowes, a left winger who has been accused of practices such as bribery to get the answer he wants to hear regarding the right wing parties. Watch TR call him out on his channel. I think he did quite some time ago. Somebody pulled, pulled me up on that. Tommy has evidence of Nick's, wrongdo Nick's uh, wrongdoings. If course there's no substance in this, why would a right-wing party want anything to do with a far left-wing group? It's madness. And this is how Nick L. rolls. Well, I've had a little look into it, and some people have sent me some information. I do tend to agree with you somewhat. Uh, Dave Cook. Hope Not Hate has infiltrated almost every institution, including advising this useless government. They are an extreme left organisation whose end goal is to bring down England and install a regime. They bully weak right-wing organisations, and unfortunately it looks like reform has taken the knee to them. Take a look at TR's exposure of Hope Not Hate. There's that name again. Very big on X. Uh, Mark, uh, Tice is correct to control the message. Otherwise, we will be deliberately stereotyped by the MSN. Yeah, and they're good at that. I've said multiple times their job is to try and influence and control the way we think. Uh, Michelle Higgs, we Brits have not one party to vote for. Reform will cover, cower down to the globalists, just like Tories and Labour. James McCusker, Tice is a shill, and will do now the same as the rest of them. Wakey, wakey, plebs. Well, there was another person that fearful that when it comes to zero hour right before a collection, an erect election, when he said something else then, get my words in a mucking fuddle like my mate Russ, they will pull a zero hour withdrawal of some kind. I really hope that isn't the case. Uh, SIUK, CNC, reform are making a lot of noise for all the wrong reasons, kicking out real patriots while listening to the far left and hate not hope. Tice, Tice is a joke. Well, as I said in my video, when you go into an organisation such as a political party, you are expected to abide by certain standards. And if you don't abide by them certain standards, then an actual course of action is you're out the door. Now, my question is, who comes up with them standards and why? Ian Ramsey, reform is controlled opposition, but at this point, what option do we have? Now, that's another one I've heard before. Uh, Robbie Rook, 
uh, vote Reform UK. I don't care what any other party does. We need a radical new party. And they are the one. The candidate, if they are Rollins, will get whittled out. It's a new party. Even the Labour and Tories and SNP have Rollins. Yeah, I mean, I totally agree with, you know, the basis of your comment. At the end of the day, our system of government is fucked, uh, to be blunt, and we need something else in its place. Is that reform? Or do we have to go further still? Uh, James Hay, why should reform do in-depth scrutiny of their candidates when groups like Hope Not Hate are happy to do it for them, free of charge? Well, it's different ends of the political spectrum, isn't it? That's uh, that's the worry, what's worrying people, I think, the, the perceived control of it. You know, this could be that Hope Not Hate has been involved somewhere and the media are throwing this out of proportion, or it could be that Hope not that they're a real problem. Uh, Jonathan, the social media posting that you displayed uh, ended in mid-sentence. Did you display the whole thing? Uh, it depends what route you came in on, uh, Jonathan, because I put this out on YouTube, obviously, X, Facebook, and Instagram. And I know with X, sometimes it truncates things. So you have to be wary. Uh, but let me know, and I'll have a look into it. Mr. Daisy May, the history of politics is strewn with such bitter and twisted muck-stirring. It's expected from all quarters. It's a given. The public have to decide whether it's not only true, but worth even bothering with. The main and deciding factor is, is your candidate worthy of your trust? Absolutely. It's all about doing what you say you're going to do, I think. Do you believe his party will achieve all they claim to strive for? Personally, questionable trivia is not worth considering. At the end of the day, it's not voting who's going to walk into number 10. It's voting for who you want to represent you in Parliament, in your area. That's who you've got to figure out. And then look at, well, they call it the contract with the people, don't they? Because manifesto has turned into a bit of a filthy word. Uh, Carlos Strumpy. And that is why reform will never be in power. They won't be able to get enough candidates for the election. They have stood down 70. They, after they after be MI5 vetted, you really have to be squeaky clean. If you're ever in debt, struggling, hit miss with your payments, CCJ, you will be rejected. And all Tice is about is trying to turn the Tories further right. It's a Tory who funding reform. They won't be able to get enough squeaky clean people. And they don't have, like rest of the parties, they have campaign groups to go knocking on doors. That's where a lot of the last minute votes come from. Reform don't have that. They're the same people behind UKIP. I've seen some familiar faces. Brexit party and everyone going on, bring back Farage if election in October. Farage won't be in this country. He does not give a toss about the UK and the people it's making money for. Him, he will be in the USA doing Trump election, making millions. Well, there is reports that's where he's going to be, isn't it? Well, we'll have to see how it all pans out. But I know what you mean. There's some very familiar faces. I've, I've followed that for a long time. I mean, the guy that I'm in contact with in reform, he's a great guy, uh, you know, and work a lot with him. And more people like that need to represent us. Rosie Sweeney. Uh, who else have England got? We must save the country and get the illegal criminals out. Uh, Chris Hoff, Tyson, hope not hate, a straight up establishment comic block. If Reform UK are going to offer any hope for ordinary Britons to take their country back, he needs to be out. I mean, I've heard, uh, you know, other YouTubers say he needs to go and be replaced by somebody else. It, you know, the general consensus here seems to be the same, doesn't it? We need to vote for reform because what choice have we got? That's what you're saying. However, I might have a problem with Richard Tice. That's coming across from your comments as well. Now, as I said in my video yesterday, I'm going to be doing a, a, a live where hopefully I can address some of these things directly with a member of reform. And also the other thing I'm doing is waiting for a statement from a member of reform so I could actually read it out. Uh, you know, I had that conversation two days ago and hopefully something will be forthcoming.
Anyway, as always, thank you very much. I hope uh, those comments were useful. At least, you know, we get to know what people are thinking. Please hit the like button and uh, that helps the algorithm spread everything about. Share this on your social media feeds if you can and subscribe to the channel. It all helps and we're getting very near 80,000. Hopefully we'll be over it by the end of the week. Uh, here's another video for you. And as always, I look forward to talking to you again soon. Toodaloo.